Hello everyone and welcome back to Evitude Quesadat. Today I'm going to be creating a tag and I'm going to be using that little butterfly that I had in my stash and I'm going to be using some more of the tags from this Julie Nutting tag pad. And this time I chose the very pale blue that it comes with and I've chosen this butterfly that I've had in my stash for a while and I want to try this dilutions paint that was sent to me by Janelle a while back and I have not been able to try it so I want to try it today. But before I start working on my tag I'm going to create my embellishment with this butterfly buckle that I had in my stash and I had not used and I really like it so I'm going to finish it off. I'm going to add some flat back pearls and I've chosen a very pale blue to add to that center so that's what I'll be doing for the center I'll just cut three of those pearls and I always snip the extra cord that sticks out from the ends just to finish them off a little bit yep so I'm liking that in the center now I'm thinking that I want to make some type of antenna and I decided to use my the wires that come with the flower sprays that I had left over. So I'll be using two of the cleanest ones, rather the, the ones that have less paper around it so I can create my antenna with. And I'll just be twisting that wire in order to create the little loop at the top. And it was a little bit hard to manage with my hand, so I thought I would. But I decided to use the end of a thin brush in order to twist it around and make it nicer. And now I'm just twisting it at the bottom so that I can join them together and have them easier to work with. Because I'm going to paint those. They're green right now, so I want to paint them in order to to use them for my butterfly so now I grab my glossy accents and I'm gonna use that to glue the flat back pearls to the buckle and have it not look like a buckle anymore and then I don't I don't know can you tell there's like little open spaces in the buckle and I'm looking at them close up to see if I can cover them with some bling because I saw some spots that were not shining like the rest and this is a plastic um, piece so it's not it's not metal and I just wanted to make sure that it looked elegant to use with my pearls and everything so I wanted to finish off so that I was all shining equally and I've added those little tiny acrylic crystals well, they're not crystals, but acrylic blings to the four corners that had some type of like flat surface on. It was tiny, but I could see it. So I wanted to finish that off. So I'm letting that dry on the side so I can go back to it later. And then I'm using my Apple Barrel Silver to paint my antenna. And... You'll see me speed um, all of the parts where I'm working on them. I'll start slowly, like real time, so you can see it. But then I'll just speed up the, the video to the max so you can see what I'm doing, but you don't have to sit through my patiently um, done painting because I, I enjoy it, so I take my time. I don't rush through that. I just I have a good time playing, um, playing with my paints, so... And then I'm also going to add some of this Extreme Glitter Silver from Folk Art. I'll, I'll add that on top of the silver that I already did just so that I get some sparkle on it and it matches the butterfly once it's dry. So yeah. I'm having a good time going through the things that I've had in my stashes everywhere and using it up, you know? 
Then I decide to work on the background, and I'm going to use this stencil by folk art, uh, by folk art, by deco art. It's an Americana swirl pattern, sort of Van Goghish in a mosaic way. <laughs> so I'm going to use that for for the background of my tag, and I selected that because I wanted to try this dilutions. So the one that I have is the turquoise, and I'm showing you up close just in case you don't know about this. I know everyone else has them out there, but I haven't I haven't gotten any. So I'm going to try the one that Janelle sent me, of course, because it was a turquoise. <laughs> so thank you, Janelle, for um, sharing that with me. I'm going to get to try it finally after a long time. I've had it, I've had it like waiting <laughs> So I'm just pouncing on top of my stencil with a makeup brush and that dilutions paint and I'm creating my background with that stencil and we'll see how that looks because I'm totally experimenting with this one. I'm, I haven't, I mean, I sort of like have, a, I have like a vision of a sky using this, but I haven't tried it. So we'll see. So I just went over the whole tag with that. And that's how it looks. I love that stencil. <laughs> I really, really like it. So let's clean the area a little bit, just so that it doesn't spread the paint all over. And I'm just gonna use the leftover to go over my edge and finish the edge of the tag. That way I won't waste too much. And I make the mistake of shaking that little container so that's why you saw it like spreading on the side. Yeah, so this is how it's looking so far. Now I'm going to be playing with my butterfly and some elements to work on the tag. And what I'm thinking is that I would like to see a type of garden and then the butterfly flying on top of it. So I went to get those Michael flower packs that I've had in my stash for a long time. And I'm just playing around with those colors and those are colors that I don't use all the time so that's exactly why I picked them I like the combination with the turquoise on the background so I'm playing with the different tones of orange and creams and I'm just taking I took the back of the flower off and cut little leaves out of it and now I'm just twisting the petals on the flower with a brush the end of a thin brush. I'm just wrapping them around that and twisting them down to make them, well, to shape them again because they've been in my drawers for a while and they lost their shape and they're like all moved around in the little packages. So I'm just, I'm just revamping my little flowers in order to use them. And as you can see, I created those little leaves out of the back of the flowers that I took off. I'm sorry that I went so fast through this. I just thought that the video would get too long if you saw me going slowly about putting the things on the <clears throat> on the tag. So in that part, I finished the butterfly. I glued everything to the butterfly. And now I'm going onto the flowers. And I'm just gluing down the two leaves and then the flower on top of it and creating my little flower arrangement. And it's gonna be, I'm, I'm seeing a little garden. So um, I grabbed some of the Deco Art Americana satin paint. And this one is inchworm. So I'm using a little, a very pale green in order to, and you'll see because I did this part slowly so you get to see how I do it. I'm going to be painting some stems on those flowers that I placed on the tag in order to create that little garden that's going to be underneath or below the butterfly. So I just picked a thin brush and here we go. I was so afraid I would, um, I would mess up the little stems, you know, it's just like when you have everything down and it's like all the layers are done and you're like, oh, if I add this part, am I going to ruin my tag? But I just go for it. You know, it's, it's part of the process. It's part of experimenting and playing with things. So I just went for it and just freehand 
painted those little stems. I didn't plan them anywhere else besides my mind. So I'm playing with those stems and I'm sort of taking them down to the center as if they were coming down onto a little garden at the bottom of the tag. So once I'm done with the pale yellow, I added some of this avocado, American acrylic paint to get a darker tone. And I'm gonna be using that on the edge of the stems just to give it some contrast. They're not realistic, they're just loosely painted. So I'm just adding a little bit of contrast with the darker green. <clears throat> and I'm sorry you can't see the bottom of the tag again, but trust me, they go all the way down to the bottom of the tag and I'll show you later on, on the, when, I, when I finish. But yeah, I'm painting my little stems now. And relaxing. Now the other way that you could work with this is you could use, you could use um, ribbon or wire or <clears throat> any other sort of material that you have to create the stems for the flower. So you don't have to actually paint them. I just want it to have the combination of the of the paints and the actual the dimension of the embellishments so that's why I combined those two but I could have totally used wire or an, any other type of material like a string or yarn or any other material that could have worked for creating those little stems I just un I enjoy playing with with my flowers in different ways so now I'm creating my little leaves that are coming out of the stems and I'm only using all those two greens. I didn't mix them, I just, they're right out of the bottle. So for the, for the leaves and for the stems, um, I'm just using those two greens. And then I, I mixed them a little bit. You're gonna see me mixing them a little bit just to create some contrast in other areas. And I'm sorry that the camera was so far, even even where I had it, which was close enough, I kept hitting it a couple of times. So um, I hope you could see the process. I've also sped up the video on some of the parts because I took my time. It's one o'clock. And sorry for my computer always telling the time when I am recording. Yeah, so now I put away all of the materials that I um, have been using. I just picked all the little flowers that were left over and put them in a the little plastic bag and eliminated the cardboards. And now I'm playing with like the, I don't know how you call it, but the I'm sort of creating a path from where the butterfly came from the, from the little garden. So I picked out those little sequins. They're teeny tiny flowers, but I found them too small. So I went and I grabbed some bling in a bigger size so that it would be more proportional with the size of the butterfly. And I just wanted it to be able to be more obvious and not just too dainty. So those are the gems that I used. And these are things that my friends have sent me throughout time and I'm just finally having the time to use them and create with them. So I did mix the bling with those little sequin parts and that way it looks more interesting to me. So that's a little path that the little butterfly took. <laughs> and now I'm grabbing some of those little sequins that I bought a while back to make shaker cards and I have not made any shaker cards yet <laughs> but I had the sequins <laughs> so those are um from a place that's called cart rates sequin and beads and they're online and I bought a whole bunch of sequins at some point to use on shaker cards and things and 
never got around to it. So I am using my sequins now. So the first ones were flowers and now I'm picking another color to give it contrast and use scattered throughout the whole sky. And I'm going through my little container and I finally found that very pale coral color that I really liked how it looked. Because I, I wanted contrast, but I did not want to make it too busy. I, I, I mean, I want my butterfly and my flowers to be the highlight and those just to be something interesting happening in the bathroom, in the bathroom, in the background. So once I have all of my little flowers glued to the to the background, I'm going to take that. And you can pause that and look at the information if you're interested in searching for those. I know those were the craze at some point. People were like, everyone was buying them. And at that point, I was able to and I got them, but I haven't been able to use them. So now I'm really... Um, finding ways to use them up you know because I really I like the look of them and I haven't been able to use them so I decided to apply them to the tag and play around with them and I really like the look that they gave so I'm placing them in different places throughout the tag and combining them with the little flower sequence and then I'll go in and glue them all down One by one. And I really enjoy this. I mean, it's, it's so relaxing to me. So I had a great, great time creating this tag and the one that I did yesterday. I'm just, I'm having so much fun. I love my summers just because of this. I love the time that I get to spend quietly in my studio um creating so now i wanted to add something to the antenna of the butterfly and i tried some bling but i didn't like it so i went and i got some of my teeny tiny pearls they're teeny 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 tiny but they're all mixed up so i had to dump them all like pour them all over my mat to able to be able to get the two light blues that i wanted to get because i wanted very pale blue <laughs> but i found it so I'm adding that to the tip of the antenna and yay. Now it's to finish my tag with some type of fiber or ribbon or lace or something at the top. So I'm selecting a few things that I gathered around the studio and um, looking to see which ones I decide to add. Now that pink was, I mean that orange was too bright and this Rusty orange was beautiful with the flower, so I decided to use that. And that fiber from Martha Stewart that I've had for a while, I decided to use that too because I liked how it looked with my butterfly. And those are the two that I selected. And there you go. Some fibers and some stretchy organza ribbon that I love. I love stretchy ribbons for different types of projects. And they're not too easy to find, so I tend to hoard them. <laughs> but I love how... They work with things. And mixed up with the fiber, it was interesting. So this is how it looks. Fibers at the top and then all of those elements glued to the back. And now you can get to see them up close. Those are the little pearls. The bling on the butterfly. The bling marking the track that she went through. And my flowers. And my painted stems and leaves. There you get a better look at it because it's up close. It, it just, it focused better. But yeah, that's my little tag. And this was fun. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please um, let me know what you think. And let me know if you're liking the way I'm sharing these tags. Um, I just thought I, I'd take you through the process of, of creating them with me. So thanks so much for your visits. Hugs and kisses, everyone. Besitos. Take care. And until my next tag, I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.